Wow, have cornea transplants changed? From penetrating to posterior grafts, we now ask, why not j just transplant decimase alone? Well, because it's very difficult to strip, isn't it? Well, we tried. We were very careful, but it was hard to see. The membrane kept tearing and clumping. It looks like a wet cat's hair sticking to itself and clinging to the body. Then we realized the power of water with its strong intermolecular forces. But hey, look at the cat in the tank. The hair underwater stands out normally. Can we overcome this water power? The power of surface tension by going under the surface? Let's dive in and see. In this video, we present the scuba technique of harvesting decimase membrane simply and consistently. First, by submerging the cornea, we eliminate surface tension. And secondly, by elevating the cornea, we enhance visualization by blurring the confusing backgrounds away. The cornea comes in a nice viewing chamber. While the outside is not sterile, it provides this ideal setup. The required instruments include toothed and non-toothed forceps. But what are the steps of the surgery? That's simple. Scoring, smoothing, and stripping. While scoring can be done in the chamber, it may be easier to remove the cornea and place it on a flat, sterile surface. With blunt forceps, one gently scores the periphery just inside Schlem's canal, noting your starting point so you are sure to make a full circle. Press just firmly enough to break up decimase, but not the stroma. Why are you angling the microscope? It minimizes the surface reflections so we can see better. If we find irregular tags in the periphery, we tear them off to smoothen the donor border. This prevents premature tearing during stripping. Notice how the straight McPherson's is ideal because its surface reflection is away from our working tips. We grab the very tip of decimase when regrasping to minimize any endothelial loss. While stripping can be done quite quickly, we take our time when working with a real patient's donor and watch closely for any premature tear. Do you need a tree fine? A tree fine is optional, but can be helpful for two reasons. As a smoothing tool, it presents a new border that resists tearing centrally. And after surgery, the smooth donor border is much easier to identify. If we use a tree fine, it is helpful to strip one fourth to one third before using the tree fine. Then we can easily continue the stripping. After stripping, the donor can be stained with tripan, either in the bowl of the cornea or in a separate container. Can all donors be stripped this easily? Well, most, but not all. You may have to work around a rare posterior scar or a crack in decimase. Also in young donors like this eight-year-old, the membrane is thinner, more adherent, and more fragile. This case was converted to a standard PLK using a microkeratome with a good outcome. We hope you enjoy this video and it has stirred up your creative imaginations, providing helpful options for your patients.